In front of me is a Nokia T20 and today I'll show you how you can enable and set up your portable hotspot. So to get started you want to pull down your notification panel, expand it and look for the hotspot toggle which for me it's on the last page right here. Once you find it, if you're doing this the first time around and assuming you're watching this video you probably are, you want to hold the toggle. Oops. So hold it. This will take you to the settings, so from here you want to tap on Wi-Fi hotspot and start off by changing the password. As you can see by default it's just some randomly generated garbage. So let's remove our old password and set our own. And the new password needs to have at least 8 characters in length, at which point you will be able to save it. Now below that we have things like AP band, you can choose between 2.4 or 5 GHz. Uh, now generally, going quickly into this, 5 GHz will be better, faster and more stable of a connection, but not every, every device will support it. While 2.4 will be supported by every device that is considered smart and, uh, well, it's also not the best option. So choose whichever one, uh, whichever one you want. Now, obviously, if your device doesn't support 5 GHz and you enable this one, uh, your device that you're trying to connect to it with simply will not see the hotspot at all. And if that is the case, just change it back to 2.4. Now, additionally, we have hotspot name. So this is just the name of the device, as you can see. You can change that if you want to. And we have turn off hotspot automatically under advanced, which I do recommend you keeping it on. Once you went through all the settings and set it up the way you want, you can now enable your hotspot at any moment by simply tapping on the toggle. And there we go, it is now on. And with the toggle that was on for turning it off automatically, you don't actually need to worry about turning it off. The device will do it for you uh, once it re recognizes that it's not being used for some amount of time. But if you want to turn it off yourself, you can simply find the toggle again and tap on it to disable it. 